hello and welcome back to this channel today we are going to talk about something slightly different we are doing a slide presentation comparing constipation with diarrhea so by the end of this video you should be able to know the difference between constipation and diarrhea and also you should be able to know how to manage them easily at home so constipation in very simple times is passing extremely hard stool which is usually very hard and difficult to pass this mostly happens when the frequency of your bowel movements is extremely reduced than usual. So how does constipation occur? We understand that as food passes through the digestive tract, nutrients get absorbed. And the waste is passed from the ileum to the colon. And at the colon, that is where water gets absorbed. So because of some reasons like change in your diet or inadequate fiber in your diet, you find out that food passes very slowly through the colon, giving the colon a lot of time to absorb more water, hence hard stool, hence pain, etc. On the other hand, diarrhea is when you pass too frequent to watery stool. So how does diarrhea happen? Unlike constipation, in diarrhea, food moves too fast through the digestive system. In this case, the colon does not even get time to absorb water, hence watery stool. Perhaps we should know what actually causes constipation, what would cause diarrhea. So for constipation, the causes may range from severe underlying medical conditions to even physical inactivity. So physical activity increases the muscle activity in your intestines and therefore helps speed up things and stool moves even more faster. Even a 10 to 15 minutes walk will help. So aside from physical activity, other causes of uh, constipation may include not taking enough water. This will actually lead to dehydration which again worsens the situation. Also medications as, as a result of side effects of medications like morphine which is a painkiller and even certain medications for blood pressure can cause constipation. In this case you need to talk to your doctor about your medication. So not enough fiber in your diet. Insoluble fiber which is from whole grains from most legumes and vegetables are very helpful as they add weight in your stool hence speeding up transit and preventing constipation. So we also have digestive system disorders, which may include certain cancers, uh, for example, cancer of the colon, can cause blockage resulting to constipation. So we should also know what causes diarrhea. In this case, we are going to generalize and talk about food poisoning from eating food that has been contaminated with viruses, bacteria, etc. Also, certain medications like chemotherapy can cause diarrhea. Lest we forget, irritable bowel disorders or irritable bowel syndromes can also cause diarrhea. So diarrhea, aside from being caused by food poisoning, eating contaminated food, it can also be caused by certain medications or certain digestive system problems. So how bad does it get? How bad can it get? So constipation can result to hemorrhoids, which are swollen veins in the lower rectum which can lead to bleeding, can be very itchy and very, very uncomfortable. On the other hand, diarrhea leads to extreme dehydration and also loss of important minerals like sodium and potassium, which in turn may lead to electrolyte imbalance and sometimes even organ failure. Finally, let us talk about nutrition management. This is the most important part because we need to learn how to manage these problems even at home by yourself so like i've already mentioned when you have constipation you have to increase the intake of fiber because it helps speed up bowel movement by adding weight to your stool for example a fruit like popo as shown in the picture is very high in fiber has more water content and also has enzymes that aid in digestion in addition popo also has potassium which boosts muscle movements, hence relieving constipation. For diarrhea, you may want to watch out on fiber because insoluble fiber will actually increase diarrhea. Prefer soluble fiber that can be found even in fruits like bananas. And in addition to that, bananas also have potassium that help replace those that are lost through diarrhea. This is just to mention but a few. You also don't need to ignore the other sources of fiber like whole grains, legumes, seeds and nuts, vegetables, are, like I've already mentioned. They're also good when managing 
constipation. Without forgetting, also need to talk about hydration. For both constipation and diarrhea, hydration is very important. Aside from relieving you from the hard stool, from constipation, it also helps replace the fluids that are lost during diarrhea. So water is very important for both conditions. So also when you are talking about um, food poisoning, through proper hand hygiene, hand washing, food safety, we should be able to prevent food poisoning, hence preventing diarrhea. So without forgetting, let your doctor check your medications. If your medications are giving you problems, constipation or diarrhea, let your doctor discuss that with your doctor. When you're pregnant and constipated, that is also a condition you need to see your doctor. Also um, include physical activity in your day-to-day -day activities so that you can also be able to keep fit and aside from that also manage constipation. So before we end the video, we have to know which foods should you avoid. So fatty foods when you have diarrhea is a no. You should learn to avoid fatty foods when you're having diarrhea. Also sugary foods worsen in diarrhea. Spiced foods worsen in diarrhea. So those are the foods you need to watch out for. So thank you so much for joining me today. Always remember to embrace a healthy lifestyle at all times. Remember to subscribe and turn on your notification bell so that you don't miss out on the videos that I post. Until next time. Bye.